The Trade Minister Don Farrell is currently on a visit to Vietnam as part of his ongoing engagement with our partners in the region. He started the visit in Hanoi and will kick off his first day of meetings in Ho Chi Minh City today. He's had some productive meetings already with the Vietnamese Prime Minister. I caught up with Don Farrell earlier. I did meet with the, uh, uh, the Vietnamese Prime Minister and, of course, uh, we're marking... 50 years uh, of diplomatic uh, relations between our two countries uh, this year. And uh, there are enormous prospects of uh, improved trade uh, and tourism uh, relations with, uh, with Vietnam. Just some of the uh, areas, of course, are education, um, renewable energy. They're very interested in our critical minerals and uh, our prospects with uh, hydrogen. And, of course, uh, our agricultural products um, are always uh, very popular uh, in, uh, in Vietnam. In fact, um, uh, as you know, uh, we're trying to diversify our trading uh, relationship. We've recently been in India. Um, and, of course, Vietnam also offers uh, great prospects yeah. of uh, uh, diversifying our, uh, our trading relationship. As you said, 50 years of, of relations between the two nations. My, my understanding is the Prime Minister will be also visiting Mr Albanese over the next couple of months. How would such a visit be received there? Uh, look, if uh, the Prime Minister came, he would be very, very well received. Um, of course, we have a very large uh, Vietnamese population in, uh, in Australia. Um, many of the uh, senior people in the Vietnamese government have got educational links with Australia. They've been uh, educated either uh, in Australia itself or um, by uh, organisations like the uh, RMIT, uh, which have got uh, a campus uh, right here in, uh, uh, in Ho Chi Minh and also in, uh, in Hanoi. So there are great connections between the two, uh, the two countries and I think uh, we're on the cusp of, uh, of a major expansion in our relationship with, uh, with Vietnam. We've seen the uh, the air routes also expanding. You spoke about we've spoken about the people to people links, but that tourism component with Vietjet opening up more and more direct flights into Australia that's got a boost in terms of tourism numbers. Oh look, it will, uh, it will, Kieran. Uh, I uh, had the pleasure of uh, going to uh, Vietjet's office uh, last night, and uh, we uh, we had a celebration. Of, uh, of the three new flights uh, from uh, Ho Chi Minh City to Australia, one into Melbourne, one into Sydney, and shortly one into, uh, into Brisbane. Even, um, they're even talking about uh, direct flights into Perth and into, uh, and into Adelaide. So um, um, what that does, of course, is two things. Firstly, it increases capacity. And to be honest with you, Vietnam is one of the countries where we are almost back to pre-pandemic levels. Uh, with uh, with our mm. with our tourism, um, so it means a lot more people can travel both ways. Um, but of course, it's putting downward pressure on prices, and that's the really important thing to get tourism moving again uh, into Australia. A, a Lowy Institute poll of Chinese Australians has found that uh, they seventy five percent of those Chinese Australians that were surveyed believe that Australia will act responsibly on the world stage, 60% approval rating for Prime Minister Albanese. Is that encouraging to you as Trade Minister as you pursue this thaw in relations with China that those Australians of Chinese heritage seem to be welcoming the government's approach on that? Um, Kieran, I think that's uh, very, good, uh, very good news for, uh, for the future. Um, our objective here is to stabilise our relationship uh, with, uh, with China. Um, we want to uh, uh, take the opportunity to um, um, remove those trade impediments that have uh, caused so much difficulty for Australian uh, food producers and wine producers over the last couple of years. Uh, and I think uh, that uh, stabilisation of relationship uh, points to uh, to a very sensible and uh, and stable relationship into the future with China. And your visit that's coming up. Have you finalised the dates for that? Look, we're still uh, in discussions. Uh, as you know, when I met with the uh, uh, the Chinese uh, trade minister a couple of uh, weeks ago uh, virtually, um, he invited me to China. I immediately accepted his uh, invitation. 
Uh, since that time, we've made progress on uh, some of the uh, uh, trade impediments like uh, like barley. We hope to make more progress on, on uh, the outstanding uh, issues. Um, but um, uh, I expect that within the next couple of weeks, um, I'll be able to uh, to go to China and have that face-to-face -face, uh, meet with my, uh, my equivalent. Uh, you might recall uh, when we did meet um, virtually, he, he said that the... Uh, the freeze was over and we're moving to a warm spring. And of course, uh, <clears throat> by that time, um, hopefully it'll be a warm spring in, uh, in China. Indeed. Well, Premier McGowan is there at the moment. There's been a bit of a spat unfold. He said of uh, the shadow defence minister and the, the Liberal Party, Andrew Hasty, that quote, he swallowed some sort of Cold War pills back when he was born and he couldn't get his mindset out of that. Andrew Hasty clearly has not appreciated that assessment, saying that the Premier is out of his intellectual depth. What do you make of the spat? Look, I'll leave that to uh, the Western Australian uh, politicians to uh, sort, them, sort themselves out. Uh, I've uh, personally got a very good relationship with uh, Premier Rep McGowan. And, of course, we are encouraging... Um, not only uh, our own officials to uh, to go to China to try and stabilise that relationship, uh, but also the, the state premiers. Um, um, there's a lot of things we need to do to stabilise that relationship, uh, and the more we can uh, have that two-way, person-to-person uh, links, I think the, uh, the, the, the better and the quicker uh, we will get to uh, that stabilised relationship which the government wants. Trade Minister Don Farrell joining me from Ho Chi Minh City. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Karen.